Hi, I'm Chris Baker, lead writer at Zen Studios for Circus Electrique, our upcoming Big Top themed RPG. Here with a quick gameplay overview. <laughs> Circus Electrique takes place in an alternate Victorian steampunk London, where a mysterious event known as the Maddening has turned a huge portion of the population from all walks of life into ruthless killers. Yet somehow, the Maddening has had no effect on performers from the Circus Electrique, and their unique talents are pretty much the only hope for saving the city, maybe even the world. I don't like you! Using those unique talents effectively, plus deciding which performers to send out to execute them, is your key to success in the game. As you work your way through the city map, you'll often encounter attacks from those who have succumbed to the maddening, unfortunate Londoners whom the press has taken to calling the Vicious. The Vicious tend to travel in fours, as does your party. But who should your four selected performers be? By the end of the game, you'll have 15 classes to choose from, each with their own specific methods of fighting, defending, and watching out for their friends. Some much more ideal for certain of those tasks than others. Here we have a strong combination of performers you may set forth with early on. A strong man who, as they'd say in 1899, offers a mighty kerwallop. A clown who specializes in the healing power of laughter. An escape artist, also adept at the art of capturing enemies in place. And of course, a fire blower, who blows freaking fire. Notice how they're positioned. Positioning is a core strategic consideration in Circus Electrique, and we'll let Balthazar the Strongman here show you why that is. As you can see from the dots right here, Balthazar quite likes it here in the first position, and all but two of his skills can be used here. He can only use his Spinebreaker attack here in the first position, or in position two. And if he lands it, which is not a sure thing, mind you, it'll need some crippling damage to one opponent. But what if it makes more sense for him to be able to put the hurt on multiple enemies in one move, if for substantially less damage? His boomerang skill can do that, but he'll need to move back to position 3 or 4 to use it. It may cost you a couple turns to move Balthazar to position 3 from the front, but maybe it's worth it. Or maybe it's not. Such moments of strategy are entirely up to you as the player. <laughs> You're very flammable! Certain character types have skills that can rapidly affect positioning, both within your party and against the vicious. Positioning is part of your enemy's effectiveness too, after all. Another thing to consider is the devotion level of a performer, which more or less equates to the character's morale. If they're feeling devoted, their attacks will land more often and strike harder. Nice and heavy! See that electrical effect? It intensifies the more devoted your character is. If they're grumpy though, You'll need to cheer them up through other actions, such as using specific devotion-related skills or devotion-enhancing items, like that brand new tasty beverage known as cola. Better than a bandage. Otherwise, you're not going to be too happy with their results. If they get too depressed, they may have completely had it with you and choose to leave the circus altogether. Of course, there's also a circus going on during all of this. The show must go on after all. And planning a performance is also very important to earning the resources you'll need to figure out how the maddening started and how to stop it. Thank you for joining me today. Be on the lookout for Circus Electrique when it hits PC and all your favorite consoles later this year.